Hey guys, it's Rick here. Hope you're all doing well out there. Um, I'm actually doing this video uh, because I've had a ton of messages, so I get them all the time, about um, asking what kind of setup I'm using, what kind of gear I have, so I thought I'd make this quick video. A quick tour of my humble home studio. So, I'm going to start from left to right and then sort of take it from there. So, what do we start with? Okay, here. Desk, ton of sheet music in it, uh, mainly classical guitar stuff. As most of you know, I'm, I'm a classical guitar player too, not just a, an electric guitarist. So you'll find a ton of um, sheet music in here. And down here we have some cables, Megami cable, Megami platinum, fantastic stuff. Anyway, so moving swiftly on, uh, we have a Rode NT1A condenser mic great bit of kit use that for recording um, some acoustic stuff on my album and then we have the main computer here which is an iMac 27 inch um, it's only a dual core it was bought in February 2010 back in France and uh, although I had a few issues with the hard drive I had to have it replaced it's a fantastic machine so um, I absolutely love that wallpaper. Look at that expression. <laughs> Amazing. Um, so, um, audio interface. I use this little fella, which is pristine. Absolutely love it. Apogee Duet. Looks gorgeous. Sounds amazing. So, fantastic stuff. To the right of that, we've got a Roland GI20. It's a MIDI interface, which I use with a, um, is it a GK3 pickup with a guitar so you can play all your synth sounds with a guitar bag of picks there and speaker wise I need to replace these I think I've had them for, for a long time they sound great but I need to update their Ederol speakers so I need to update those fellas here I've just got my MIDI keyboard uh, Korg X5 which I use um, as a MIDI keyboard so um, if I Fire up logic here. It should be already on it. So using Spectrosonics here, fantastic bit of software. Um, it's Omnisphere. <coughs> Although I do have Stylus RMX and Trillion. Um, this is an example BT that I've been working on. Just a quick sort of changes back in track. To, um, and I'm using Stylus RMX, Trillion, and miking up my amp, which I'll get into in a moment. So, there we go. So, underneath we've got a Focusrite Trackmaster which I tend not to use that much. I used to use it with a pod which is underneath which I'll get to uh, but I tend not to use it now. Um, to the right of that I've got a TC Electronic Finalizer Express which is pretty handy if you just want to knock out a mastered sort of demo at home. Uh, it's, it's a good bit of kit. So I've got a keyboard there. <coughs> underneath I used to use this all the time. Still use it. It's great. You can get some fantastic sounds out of it. Pod XT Live Took a bit of tweaking, but got there in the end with a sound that, that I like. <laughs> but they are they are great bits of kit. So moving on onto this next desk, Xbox 360. It's taking up a bit of, bit of my time at the moment. And you got a monitor, Samsung monitor. Underneath we've got an HD PVR, which captures, which enables me to capture my gameplay. So I've got the Xbox 360 into the P HD PVR then into the TV and then via USB to, to the Mac using ITV3 software to capture gameplay. You can do a ton of other stuff as well with it and it's fantastic. Underneath, Roland XV5050 sound module. It's got the expansion packs in it as well, the drum expansion pack made by Spectrosonics and the orchestra uh, and it sounds fantastic although I haven't hooked it up in this studio just yet. Underneath, Focusrite Trackmaster, another one of the same over there. To the right of that, Tascam CDR W402 Pro Grade um, CD Duplicator, fantastic bit of kit. Um, another monitor up there. So moving along, 
gaming headset, controller, <laughs> too much info. So, <coughs> moving along, we get to the first guitar, Flaxwood Liecki. Really nice guitar this, beautifully made. Um, still use it quite a bit, but I'll get to my main guitar in a minute. To the right of that, Ibanez JS2000. Stunning looking guitar, and plays really well and sounds great too. So, and then this is my main guitar, which most of you guys will probably have seen me use. It's my Sir Modern in a root beer drip finish. Yeah, it's a corker. Okay, so behind there we've got Pat Metheny's songbook, Bruce Lee, essential Bruce Lee, um, <coughs> a real book. And here I have a 16 track digital recorder that I used to use. I used this to record an EP. Um, if you've seen the, the Rocky training montage video, I used that to record this audio, that audio track. Um, and it sounds pretty good, I have, to, I have to say, but you know, far too fiddly. You know, that screen is all you get to work with. Um, but sound quality, fantastic. Moving down, H&K Switchblade 100 head. Fantastic sounding amp, don't use it at all, really. So I'll probably be getting rid of that. And then here, we have a Splawn Nitro 100 head. It is a beast of an amp, beautiful tone. Um, and I'm using that with a Comfort 4x12. And that combination is wicked, it's, it's an amazing sound. I can't believe I just said the word wicked. Okay, you've got the, um, the foot switch for the Splawn. Moving along, I'm using this Lexicon MPX550 in the effects loop of the Splawn head. Mainly, I mean for the effects, yeah, but so that I control the volume, I can control the volume of it because it's pretty loud, the Splawn. Um, and with this, I can control the volume with the um, <coughs> with a knob at the back, which is the the return level. Um, so I can really drive those valves, but keep it at a manageable volume so that the neighbours don't go calling to the police. Um, and then we've got a Taylor Big Baby acoustic. And to the right of that, camera tripod and the stand where the sir usually sits. So that is the lot. Anyway, um, I hope that's answered some of your questions and I hope you've enjoyed this video. And I'll see you again for some more guitar madness. Take care guys.